Well, more now on our top story, that attack in Izmir. Ahmed al Barai is a lecturer at Aydin University and joins us now in the studio. Ahmed, always good to speak to you. Now, first of all, just your reaction to this latest attack coming so closely to the attack that we had here in Istanbul. Um, it is very tragic. It's very, you know, horrific kind of these terror attacks at the beginning of a new year. It's very sad to hear them, especially that the people and we were like very optimistic that this is going to end up very soon. But unfortunately, we're seeing this. It's very tragic again. And in terms of who may be behind this now, of course, there were suspects in this courthouse who police say may have been involved in the attack here in Istanbul. Do you think that's any connection with this attempt on the courthouse as it was? Uh, the deputy prime minister, as well as the mayor of the Izmir city, they uh, pointed the finger of blame at the PKK, and they they said that they are behind this kind of attack. But still, we know that there are a big number of these uh, suspects inside the courthouse, which uh, could be the other groups. But what we know is all of them they're trying to work together, which which means that there is a kind of synergy among these ter terrorist organizations, uh, whether they like it or not. They they're coordinating, they're cooperating, but they uh, have one uh, main target, which is the Turkish Republic, mm -hmm. and they're carrying it. Uh, whether they are ISIS and they're disguised, they're uh, deliberately making these kind of uh, new tactics, or, the, uh, or whether they are uh, PKK and they're doing this, we, we need to wait and see. But I believe that this kind of uh, attacks, they're mainly uh, the, the fingers of uh, PKK is there. Of course, as you, I mean, as you say that Daesh and the PKK may be coordinating. There'll be no central coordination because, of course, both organizations have very different aims. But you're saying that it's the basis of the destabilization of the Turkish state, and that's what they're mainly trying to do? What they're mainly trying to do is to disseminate a state of panic. Even the choice of the city itself, you know, Izmir is the third biggest city in Turkey. And it's, it was like far away from these kind of attacks that plagued Istanbul recently. So what they're trying to tell the people there that uh, you cannot predict our own operations. We can attack you in Kayseri. We can attack you in the south, in the middle, in your city, in, this, in the capital city, which will, again, uh, not only panic the people, but also the security forces. They don't know how to deal with these kind of attacks. And their aim is to have, at the end of the day, uh, for the Turkish government to say that we cannot go on. And they might go beyond that. And you think of it, they're trying to uh, drive a wedge between the government and its own people. Now, the people, they would say that the policies of our government is leading to these kind of catastrophic attacks. So enough is enough. We don't need to go deeper in Syria. They, this is their own message. That's what they're trying to do, uh, to be honest. But I mean, I think we know what the response will be of the Turkish government. It will be to go harder against these different groups. The only way is to do this, because they know that if these people are not eradicated, cleansed in their heavens inside Syria or Iraq or other places in, Tur in Turkey, they would launch more attacks against this, uh, the, the country here. And that's the only way to deal with but them. At, but at which point does that uh, overreach and it causes more and more attacks? I mean, I mean, if you, there must be, will there be a point, will there be a calculation going on in government where they say, OK, we need to maybe row back slightly to try and prevent more attacks happening here? That's a very sound argument, to be honest. But to, to think about it, if the government is going to retreat when it comes to, people would think that, OK, let's hold the operation against PKK. Let's go back to the peace process. But to be honest, politically speaking, it is not the right move now. Because if you do this, they know that the... Uh, Politically speaking, again, uh, the Nationalist Party uh, is uh, moving forward and to, uh, closer to the government so they can change the constitution. They're moving toward a presidential uh, system instead of the parliamentary system. So if they uh, hold this kind of operation against a uh, the PKK and its affiliates, uh, things may get worse, which is not something to do. And on the other hand, if you do this, these people would feel that it's okay, let's uh, escalate, let's do more operations so we can put more pressure on the government. By this way, we can let them retreat, which is something Turkey would never do. And they believe that they're achieving good progress on the ground, and the only way is to fight them harder, because this is the way you need to, fight, to face and fight terrorism. Otherwise, they will defeat you. We can't let them win. Okay, Ahmed Al thank you very much. Thank you.